Hello everybody and welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to be talking about the What's the Password Revis Revisited Challenge from the Rice D Cat Panda CTF. It's a reverse engineering challenge, um, a quite simple one, um, but we're going to uh, use Radare to, to uh, go through it and, and check it out. The uh, description is there's a password somewhere. So let's download this file, copy link location, wget our link. We're gonna move that to what's the password. All right, so now we can do a file of what's the password and this is an, uh, an L46 bit executable. So let's do a, let's give us permissions to execute that. And let's, that's my bad chmod and let's see what's gonna happen when we execute it. It's gonna ask us for a password and it's gonna tell us whether that password is right or not. Um, so the first thing I do when I get executables is I take a look at strings. But in this case, strings didn't give us much. There was this weird um, this um, thing that I first thought was the flag, but which is not the case. Um, so what's the password? Hey, that's not right. And then when we would get it right, it will say, nice job, here's your flag, followed by a flag. So at this point, let's start getting into uh, Radar A2. So R2-D for debugging and capital A for analyzing. What's the password? So that's going to analyze for us. And once that's done, we can analyze function list to see a function list and we see the main function. We can get a disassembled view of the main function. So let's see what this does. So this is going to ask us for the password. It's going to print that here. It's going to do a get for our input. All right. Then it's going to do some string copy. We enter a loop. Uh, and it seems like if, so we enter from here, we jump to here. If this jump doesn't get taken back up, it's going to output us, hey, that's not the right password. So if this jump gets taken, we're going to add one to RDX, compare RDX with 14. If it's uh, 14, we're going to jump, else we're going to run through this again. So this seems like something that would um, loop through characters of the password. Um, meaning that the password would have 14 characters if we're correct. All right, so that's that. Once it jumps, so once it is 14, it's going to print us the flag. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, let's take a look at what happens, um, what gets compared here. So we want these two to be equal so that we jump back up. So let's take a look at what these values are, just tracing them up. We see that new, so the EAX value gets changed a lot here. And right here is where we move something into them. Um, so let's take a look at what is being moved into here at that point. So we're going to set a debug point right below that. Start execution. Subscribe as password. We hit the breakpoint. Uh, let's do a DR. So our EAX contains 73. Meanwhile, our RCX contains 3A. Now we entered subscribe, so we suspected this to be RAX is uh, the same value as S would be because RA, wait, um, where are we at? We're looking at this, okay. So let's see where ECX gets its values from. So that would be RA, RAX, so let's Take a look at what's there. Um, let's try that again. We're moving RAX into there. Is that not how it works? That isn't it either. We might have jumped over it. We might have jumped over it. No, nothing should have changed to RAX. Oh, well, anyway, let's try this one then. 
Okay, we have more liquid, that one. Uh, which contains our string, subscribe, and we, as we can see, our S is 73. Now, we want our AX to be equal to our CX after all of that stuff happens to it. So, we know that at, uh, at this point, EAX is pretty much just our, our character that we input. So, we want that to be equal to 3A in this case after doing all of this thing. So, we're going to do an extra of 32. Uh, this is not going to do anything. Then we're going to add 1 to that, and then we're going to do an XOR again. And then we're going to compare. So pretty much what we want to do is take 3a and do this backwards to find what eax, uh, what what value we have to have for eax for that to be equal. So if we take 3a backwards, we're going to do an xor of 32. We're going to subtract one and do an xor of 32 again. Um, so let's quickly do that in a, in Python. So Python, let's make a function, convert, and it's going to take a byte. And we're pretty much going to do a, um, we're going to return, we're going to take our byte, and we're going to XOR that by 32. Then we have to subtract 1. We have to subtract 1, and then we have to XOR that by 32 again. And I believe that this sh oh no, that this should um, give us the correct value back for what we want, and we can test that later. So let's see what convert does for 3a, which is what we're working with, 53. So then we want to take 53 and see what character that com um, that is. That's five. I'm quickly going to modify this so that it um, does that for us. Right. So now if we um, convert something, it's going to give us the character back. So the first character would be 5. So let's test that out. So let's exit this. And take a look if 5 would be correct. So we're going to set a breakpoint on this jump. And we're going to start it. 5 would be the first character. Now, as you can see, our instruction pointer is right on there. Uh, if I step through one uh, more step, uh, this should jump up there and not go down here. And that is because if you look, oh, RAX and RCX are equal. So if I do DS and look at the main function again, you can see that we jumped from here up to here. So our first character is already correct. And so we have a, a correct method of looking through, uh, of, of finding the correct characters. So now we just need to find out what this ECX value is going to be each time. So let's again put a breakpoint there. And now uh, we have been stopped right before this gets assigned its value. So now if we look at our AX, We should be able to find what character is coming. So right now, 31 is coming. Um, if we do a minus like 60, whatever, we should see that um, a little bit more minus like 100. Well, we should see that 3a was here. Then we have 31, 52. So it seems like these these are just gonna get uh, taken every time. So you can pretty much look at all of them by just adding stuff to RAX at this point and look through them. Um, there's going to be 14 in total, I think. I think so. That's that's that. So right now we pretty much we have all of those, um, and I mapped them out already here. So these are these are those. All right. So let's put those in in, in a VI because these are all. Uh, characters of the password right so now what we want to do is we want to pretty much be able to take this whole all of these characters 
and uh, write a little Python uh, method that's going to return us the password. So let's start doing that. So we're going to make a new one. Uh, we'll name it convert again. We're going to take in uh, a load of bytes and we are going to return return them all but uh, have stuff done to them so something for byte in bytes now this something is where our this comes into play so we can paste that in there and that looks promising let's see if that does what we wanted to do Take the bytes, and it says the password would be something spread out. So let's see if that would work for our password. And as you can see, when we enter that, it says nice job, here's your flag. And we have a flag that we can enter on the site. So that was this for, for this video. I um, hope I didn't uh, go into too deep into R2. I hope you could still follow along. Uh, leave your suggestions or comments in the comments and I'll see you in another one.